Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big gunk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, we need everyone out there to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment under the video, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. We're getting right to it, straight to it. Giannis, the Greek freak, the evolution of Giannis, or lack thereof, what is going on with him? I don't see any changes in this game, and it is showing. Man, I mean, he 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 hasn't worked on his game. I mean, it's the same thing, and now he's he's becoming the predictable. Play, well, he's been predictable. It's it's bully ball. You think he can bully his way in? And the thing is, they normally wait until playoff time come to build the wall, but they're building the wall early this year. I guess they want to limit him early instead of putting all this air in him like they all, like, like the league always do but right now Giannis is not looking good he's not he's not and 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 every and this is the thing that I, everyone I keep hearing saying oh Giannis made a mistake by signing with with Milwaukee and he, he's not gonna have any players he got players Drew Holiday and, and Middleton that and 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 if with him supposed to be in the star, that is that is our squad right there. And the problem is, Giannis. It is. Why is he still trying to go downhill from the middle of the floor, bringing the ball up court when you got guards that can do that? Play your position. You're right, and it goes back to our Eastern Conference preview. I ask you all of these questions about. His game, you know, changing somewhat and slowing down. As you can see, none of those changes were made. The last couple of games that were uh, national television games, um, downhill, like you say. But I think the most important thing is the fact that he takes so many bad perimeter shots that it's taken away from every... They're not bad shots because Those they're three, wide open shots. But it's not his game. That's the point. They're wide. They're so not, it's a bad shot then. Well, yeah, okay. But if he worked on it, and I, I believe he's he did, he just, he just, it just, everybody's not a three point shooter. They're not. But so, but why is he bringing the ball up court anyway to even be put into that position to where they can lay back? He's coming up court, and he has the point guards and the ball handlers. That as, and, and I'm talking about sufficient ball handlers on the wings mm-hmm. playing off of him where they where now the defense can set up for him. To me, okay, that's 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 the, the Greek freak. We know since he didn't expand his game and his game haven't evolved for that situation, it tells me now that the coach needs to be making adjustments and putting him in sets where now he's not getting the ball. He's not coming up with the ball. He's getting the ball right by by by, by, the, by, the, by the foul line and being able to, to get downhill from there. Not coming up court, the team, the, the, the team get a chance to set up their defense because they know where you are. But if they, they you put them on some screens from the from the baseline to, to bring him up and get him the ball there, it's a that's coaching also. So you got to, to think the, the the point of him not working on his game is not even the major problem, because if you put him in a different situation where he's getting the ball, it, this wouldn't be a major problem. But you, you know what? I'm gonna play devil's advocate once again because you you mentioned the coach, right? Yeah. Why is it that everyone else on the team plays to their strength? Is it really coaching, or is this the way he wants to play? I think he wants to be one of those finesse perimeter players. He makes the game harder than it has to be. And I said before in the Eastern Conference preview, he doesn't have the ability or he... Well, then that comes right back to what I mean. That's coaching. Because if you're going to let your players put you in a situation that looks like you're not able to coach then you don't need to be coaching. And if that's politics that's playing a role, the fact, simple fact that, oh, he, he okay, he's resigned he's now. But okay, he's Giannis. But 
Giannis, they're figuring you out and you're about They figured him out a long right. time ago. But allow me to put you in a situation where you could succeed. I'm telling you, if if the great coaches ain't going for that. No, not at all. So if you're such a great coach, where's your where's your manhood? Step up and be the leader that you're supposed to be. You letting Giannis off the hook, man. No, I'm not. You letting them off the hook. No, I'm not. We're not, not going to make this about the coach. We understand because the coach has proven that he is both. But it's, it's more of him because, first of all, he hasn't evolved. He right. has no go-to move. Mm -hmm. His jump shot isn't consistent. Mm -hmm. He's predictable that's for one. That's not inconsistent. Huh? His jump shot is not. That's not inconsistent. That's just he can't he can shoot. It's not inconsistent. Is, is he? He, he don't make enough of them for me to even because all right, I'll give, yeah. give you that. Yeah, I'll give you that. But to be that size, to be that strong, to be that athletic, why isn't he getting the ball? Like you stated before, twelve feet and below, facing up and going. Is that all coaching? I don't think yeah, his coach has him on the perimeter. Even the, his thought process. Last game against the Lakers. Yeah. Everything is downhill, right? Certain things come down to IQ. It's not there. And the refs allowed him to stay in the game because he should have fouled out. That's not Over coaching. Charges. Yeah. That's not coaching. That's he's getting making the ball an adjustment. The, he's still getting in the ball in that situation. Um, if a coach going to call a timeout and tell him, let's get – I'm going to run this set. This is where I want you. That's what a coach going to do. Pat Riley, that, you're going to do what the coach tell you to do. He, he's not that type of player, IQ wise, where you giving him the authority to to run the plays. Obviously, he's you're limited. So how you, if you, and if the, if that's what it is, and and he's getting all the power to do what he wants to do, then yeah, it's still coaching. Anywhere it go, it's coaching and him both. It's both of them. Both of those are the problem. And I'm telling you, until they fix that. Because it could be fixed. Because I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, he need players to come there. They made moves. And they got Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday? And Chris Middleton has gotten better. He's evolved. Oh, listen. So, dude, I think they it, should play more through him at times. Exactly. Exactly. But if but think about it. They, they I seen a um, matter of fact, that was a game against the Nets. They went through Middleton. But although Middleton is what we're, we're, we're putting him we bringing him to, to that level. He's not ready to do that for down for a closer. He's not a closer. I get that part. But all right, so let's even let's go back to the next game, the last possession, because they, they ran the same play maybe three times. I think it was a pick and roll. Right. Chris Middleton. Yeah. He got the shot that he wanted. Right. That last possession, where was Giannis? Out on the perimeter. Damn near near half court. Yeah. That's coaching? No. That's him. That's him. Yeah, listen. That's him. You, you, you're, you're talking like... Still trying to go downhill. But what you're saying to me is you're talking like I'm saying it's all the coach. It's not. I'm telling you, it's both of them. It's not just Giannis. It's both of them. Yes, Giannis is the blame. And so is the coach. I'm not letting neither one of them off the hook. Both of them is the problem. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to jump the gun, but a lot of things is starting to... As, as fans or, or media personalities out there, they, they pick and choose their favorites. And it's starting to come across as though he's overhyped. That's the way I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see things. Because even when you look on a defensive end, he's not taking those assignments either. So Giannis is the same Giannis he was damn near three years ago. He hasn't gotten better. No, he hasn't. You got Drew Holiday, who was an all-star before. He locks down defensively. He's very efficient. If you give him the ball, gets his own shot, never out of control. Chris Middleton, we've already proven. He's proven who he is. He's gotten better. Giannis is the problem. Yeah, he's the problem, but that but the the blame keeps going, oh, that he need more stars. No. Who's saying that? This is, I done heard this several times. I done heard this several times. It's going on in the in in the social media communities. It's going on and and on in in the app during the game, you know, I'm hearing this stuff. Like he need other players to be able to come to Milwaukee. Why? They got players right now. I'm I'm gonna throw that theory out the window because if you look at the games, the majority of the games, they're in it. 
Yeah. He's the star. He's supposed to put them over the hump. They should have beat Brooklyn that game. They should have beat the Lakers. But he, he's too busy trying to charge his way through and get his and, stats. Yeah, and I don't know about what he's thinking as far as trying to get stats, but him bolding, you're not you're not bolding your way into the, to the through through. He's forcing the game, right? And see, the thing about it is, the last two seasons in the regular season, they let him have it. They let him have it, yeah, right? But now you see him he's throwing elbows, he's running people over, he's people on the ground, hurt. Because he's just charging his way through, and, and for some reason this season they 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 playing playoff defense on him, and he's not getting in, into the into the hole the way normally normally. And he doesn't make any adjustments. I'm gonna keep saying that. There's no, no you cannot go downhill and euro step your way out of everything. Right, but if the coach got him in a different set to get him the ball closer to the basket, but he, it's it's possessions where. He should bring the ball back out and reset, and he still no he doesn't sh- have to. He shouldn't bring the ball back out. He should have never had it in the first place. Well, we're making the same argument. We're just coming That's from what two I keep different ways. You, yeah. But at the same time, I'm putting most of the blame on him. You're a two-time MVP. Why wouldn't you get the? Why wouldn't you put the ball in, in Drew Holiday's hand? Well, maturity comes down to trusting your teammates, right? That's the point. He's still playing like he don't have. Guards, and that's not championship ball, right? He, why are you still bringing the ball up court? That was the point in them giving away their future to get Drew Holiday, and Drew Holiday is there, and it's not like Drew Holiday is not showing up. He's he's balling, and he has to take the assignment of guarding LeBron James and all that. And who's the defensive player of the year? But he, look, I'm going to sit back me, and let you talk. But I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. He was guarding Anthony Davis. Okay, he was. That's a whole other segment because AD hasn't been engaged either, so that's a night off. Yeah, but who else was going to get on AD? It, AD? You just can't put anybody on but, AD. No, I'm not saying that. Yeah. But for, as far as attack mode, AD hasn't really. He's been lax out there. Right. But, LeBron was going off. Yeah. LeBron always go off one hit when he played it with him. Anyway, so it doesn't. <laughs> no, but he was getting deed up. Well, we know that he's getting deed up. Down and he should have fouled out the game because they had him in clamps. Actually, he did foul out, didn't he? He no, fell out of there and he ended up fouling out. Yeah, but it was a couple of plays where yeah, they, he should have been fouled out. Yeah. He should have been fouled out. Yeah. yeah, they those are charges and they 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 gave him the benefit of the doubt. All right, but we're gonna reel it back in because we're not gonna make it about one game. This has been. This is going it's on. It's not a couple one of- game. We just this. That's the recent game. Yeah. This is the thing. We, it's the same. It's not. We can go back last year. Same thing. But only difference is during the regular season they wasn't building the wall. They built it in the playoffs, and that's how he ended up hurt, charging his way in, hurting his ankle, and all that kind of stuff. No, he's gonna get hurt, and he's gonna hurt somebody else with that with that nonsense. It starts here. Yeah. He's not. He's not that. He hasn't gotten better, and for him to beat it. Two-time MVP? Nah, I don't see how. Yeah, because he's at a a point in his career where you got the personal accolades. You haven't gotten out the East yet. And until you do, the magnifying glass um, is on you. You re-signed, so this is home for quite some time now. That's the choice you made. Now he needs to make the adjustments because they have the roster to get where they want to go. I'm not going to say they can win it, but... The way that roster is presently uh, constituted or constructed, they could get out the East. But Giannis has to get out of Giannis' way and stop trying to run over everyone because that's not it. You can't go downhill and Euro step and think that Cass is getting out of your way all the time. Slow the game down and make the right play. You have Chris Middleton on the roster, Drew Holiday is a baller. They have a complete team. And I just feel like you trying to get, let him off the hook. No. You're I'm not, not going to put that on Bud. No, we not both of them. We're not going to do Neither that. Neither one of them off the hook. I'm not, I'm not going to He's the coach. Him. The coach is causing the plays, man. Simple as that. The coach does not have him running over people. Yes, he does. How many charges does he get in transition? Because his he won't. Those are possessions. Get that the ball. Add, those are turnovers. I play with a coach, man. <laughs> Wandy, uh-huh. Yo, yeah. <laughs> get the ball to the point guard and the guards, and right. and get them and and fill the lane. 
He's getting the, he'll end up getting the ball closer to the basket. And the defense will not have time to, to set up the wall because it's not you bringing the ball up. You're down, going down, I'm running you up a screen and bringing you up, popping you up for the, uh, to the foul line. I, I don't care what kind of set it is. So off a defensive rebound, there's plenty of times he rebounds the ball. He doesn't give it up. That's not coaching. He's doing that. Right, he's doing that. He's doing that. But you, now a, a coach is going to tell you, no, get to the guards and, hit, and fill the lane. And when you don't, a coach is going to sit you down. Come over here. Sit down. That ain't uh, In this league? Okay, so keep losing anywhere it go. See, a real coach, no, I'm good. Like, like I'm, don't, I'm not the only one that's realizing that 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 the coach ain't doing what he should be doing, and putting and making Giannis be in a position where. See, Giannis might be. Sometimes you got to save your star from himself. I can agree with that. And he's not doing that. So, so even though you putting it on Giannis, okay, it's the coach's job to save him from himself. He ain't doing that either. So it's both of them, like I keep telling you. I don't care what you say, Giannis, you're right. It's on Giannis. But what is the coach doing about it? It's the first time I can hear in a long time that a perennial all-star, not even all-star, a multiple-time MVP is getting an excuse like this. You, you give him the back door out. Go down the list. Any player that played at his caliber that walked home with the hardware – Repeatedly, as far as individual accolades, mm -hmm. we don't blame the coach when it comes to those individuals. I'm talking about a standard. We're talking about Giannis now, but the way things have been, I don't know why. Because you don't normally talk you, about the, you, the coach. I'm going to tell you why. Because those other individuals that you're talking about, offensively is not limited. And their coaches are putting them in a the position where their strengths are. And in, if they if he can't do it then, then then it won't be the coach. But until the coach stop him from doing what we see as the problem, him bringing the ball up court, him allowing them to build this wall to keep him from getting to the basket, the simple fact that he, he, I don't care who's doing it, you're the coach. Stop it. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. And I get what you're saying totally. Honestly, I do. But good luck with that. Because at the end of the day, you may say it's coaching. I may say it's Giannis. It's both. It's, it, it, you may say it's both. But at the end of the day, it, it also comes down to that individual player's IQ. You don't you, have it. You have to know. That's why the coach got to take him. You, you're not LeBron. So he's not the MVP then. Yeah, he's, he's well, not. So he's not then. Who said he was the MVP? So he's not. He no. took it home two years in a row. It's the same I, I, result. I, I, he never deserved that. The same that. result. He never deserved that. I've been out hearing a lot, but you keep saying how other people were saying that he doesn't have enough. He's the two-time. When will he have enough then? Th that's on him. And that's on him, his coach, and his organization. Because if you take most players that we speak about and put them on that roster, they may be getting the chip. They would have gotten over the hump by now. I'm telling you. But you understand. These teams are not super teams, and I'm done after this, unless LeBron is one of them, the big three, period. I can roll with that. All right, so it's, I'm, like, I'm not even saying it's too early or it's still early. Enough is enough. We've seen enough it's the of that. That's the it's, same it's thing the as same last thing. year until it's they make on, a difference. They, they're gonna, they, they need to make a change. You can't make a change later on in the season because you haven't been doing it, so you need to start doing it now so that you can have the, that type of chemistry when it comes time to, and you're still doing the same thing. All right, so pretty much you're saying that the change is X's and O's because it can't be a roster change because they, I think it's, they did enough in the offseason. Right, they did enough. It's, it's not a, it's, They don't need a roster change. He needs to change his game. Exactly. Start making decisions from the free throw line down. Yes. Develop a move mm -hmm. and slow down. And these are all things you work on in the offseason. So pretty much based on the conversation we're having, they may not be coming out the East. Okay. Well, there you have it. This is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video. Uh, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Is Giannis evolving? Has he uh, reached his plateau or his climax in his career? Do you think that the Bucks can come out the East? Let us know below. Um, also, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. Once again, I'm Earl Tima. 
I'm Big Gunk, Alan Team of Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. We out of here. Peace.